Hey, Chaos Warriors, Chaos Giga here, and welcome back to the Digimon Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition Let's Play series that I have going on here. Uh, in the last episode, we just began on Chapter 6, and we're still in Chapter 6 now. I think I've got two bonus cases, or side cases, if you will, and I just walked out of the office, and I got a notice that um, there is a new case so i think that's the main case that we have to do um regardless to unlock something i think it has to do with the government it's like the nakano underpass case i think i don't know we'll find out here in a minute but before we get started just want to say be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe and the notification bell down below so that way you get notified whenever i post new episodes because i do at least two episodes a week for digimon and two episodes a week for pokemon and maybe uh, I might just be doing one episode and one live stream for Pokemon from now on. We'll find out. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into this. I think it's just up on the whiteboard, actually. Yep, so one new case added. It's the red pin. That's the main quest. Yep, the government. Nakano Underpass. Okay, this is a case from the government. The door in the Nakano Underpass has been unlocked. What waits on the other side? So the farm development kit and some yen for it. I'll explain all the details. The client this time is the local government that takes care of the utilities for Nakano. Basically, it's a bureau bureaucratic agency. Uh oh. Why are you so shocked? Of course, we specialize in the supernatural and complex cyber uh, crimes, so we usually have a very specific clientele. But we cooperated very well with Detective Matayoshi's police force, so they consider us to be a pretty good detective agency. So we've received case from a case from a public agency, quite a rare event. This case was originally discussed by Detective Matayoshi with the government agency. It's a bit special, so Detective Matayoshi passed us down to the government agency like a sort of ace up his sleeve, and now it's our case. Got it? Good. The case is to unlock a gate in the Kano Underpass. It seems the gate is locked due to some electronic glitch and can't be opened. Huh? What? You don't know about Nakano Underpass? It's a facility that houses the equipment used to provide Nakano's public utilities such as power cables, water pipes, and so on. They are moving forward with a plan to improve the look of the city center above ground by housing the public utilities underground. Looks like the visible power cables and telephone poles are set to disappear in the not too dis distant future. Underneath Nakano, there is a vast complex of tunnels, so there are, of course, many entrances. One of these entrances is the place where the gate we need to unlock is. It is a password protected electronic lock, but it seems some time ago it locked for no reason and no one has been able to open it since. They contacted the manufacturer, but they gave up. If needs be, they will destroy the gate, but obviously they, that would incur serious costs. While the costs were discussed, a weird groaning sound was heard coming from the other side of the gate. It seems something strange is going on. The manufacturer had a bad feeling about it and didn't want to open the gate, but the government suspected criminal activity and called Matayoshi. I see, so then the buck passed to Karimi Detective Agency. Well, after all, we have the best people for the job if you want to access a place that is off-bounds to most. This is actually a good opportunity. I've been wanting to investigate the rumors surrounding Nakano's underground system for a while. The gate in question has an electronic lock, so naturally there's a cyberspace inside it. You're the only one who can break into the gate without destroying it. We've already received permission from the government to access the underpass. Alright then, shall we go and find out what the real situation with this underground gate is? Where is that groaning voice coming from? What kind of strange word lies, world lies beyond the gate? This is going to be so much fun! And I'm the guinea pig of the scapegoat. Huh? It's an underground gateway, so there will be just be an underground tunnel behind it, right? <laughs> Have you ever heard of this... Stochastic process and quantum mechanics. I guess I should tell you about Scrodinger's cat. Until we open up the gate, we cannot know if we will find an underground tunnel or the void of space. Until you open that gate, the world is in flux of overlapping possibilities, so just try to enjoy it. Let's go. The case is a simple matter of unlocking the gate, but what's behind the gate? Your job is to find that out. It's. It's Black War Greymon. So, I can't remember exactly where it's at. Nakano Underground. Oh, Underpass, there it is. Nakano Underpass, so it's the last one now. Alright! 
Alright, so here we are. And there's an elevator. Did you arrive at the underpass? The gate we need to unlock is inside. The control panel should be beside you. Do you see it? Connect, jump into it, and unlock the gate. Oh, yes. Uh, what happened? What? Connect jump isn't working. That's strange. It's an electronic lock, so there should be some kind of network inside it. Perhaps it's just that you didn't activate the connect jump properly? Right, I think it's time I verified your ability to perform a connect jump. Raise your hand. Now concentrate. Now what? That's it. 30 minutes later. One hour later. Several hours later. A hundred years later. No, it's not that long. What were you doing just now? Whatever you're doing, it seems like it's not working. <laughs> I already told you it's not working, lady! Okay. Oh no, it looks like I can't verify it. Well, it seems that you can only connect jump if you feel disappointed. If I were to pass a theory as to how your connect jump works, your ability locates a digital wave, piggybacks on it to the target location's digital space, and then enters it. It can be a network, a PC server. Doesn't matter what the target location is, if it has a digital space, then you should be able to access it. However, there seem to be certain limitations when interfering with a digital wave. In other words, when you can, you can, and when you can't, you can't. <laughs> what we've determined is that you connected before by chance, even if there was specific reasons why you were able to each time. Put simply, cause and effect are connected to the digital waves. Wait a second, how could you connect up this time then? I don't have any proof to support my answer, but perhaps there were others like you who tried and failed to open the lock and were disappointed. Yes, disappointment is definitely key. I've rambled on long enough. Please get this lock opened as quickly as you can. Alright, so obviously I've got my new team with me, so let's turn around here. Get a picture of them real quick. What's this? I got my farm developing items for me right now. So you can tell I'm working on Zort right now. Okay, so this is where we gotta copy and paste. Hacking skill. Copy and paste. Copies the target's color data and temporarily saves it by pasting on a color of space. When correctly placed, the security will be dropped and you will be able to continue. Movement to a different area will clear any copy data. Copy and paste. If you ever forget what color you got, just remember it's a floating above your head. It's Dintamon! Why not? Just use the skills, right? Might grow a level or two. Door should be unlocked now. Let's head back and check. Oh 
my goodness. I'm too OP right now. I need more memory space. But I'm too OP. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I'm also trying to get Alpha Monoric and Sword ready for him too, so... Okay. Yes! It's just an elevator. Uh-oh. It seems you've managed to unlock the gate, so thanks for that. It must have been easy for you, given your skill. What? There's a bit of a labyrinth in the underground tunnel? What do you mean by a bit? Is there any sign of a Digimon or an Eater in there? I see. It is strange to see just a small section of labyrinth. I know, I said we couldn't know what we would find, but I wasn't expecting that. I believe we have witnessed a special digital wave occurrence. It's as if it's some kind of current. I see, this is definitely a, a ley line. Have you ever heard of ley lines before? There are many in Tokyo. They are also called dragon chains. Dragon sin signifies the undulating landscape, the hills and mountains. The dragon chain is what we call the flow of the land spirit. It's well known that Susei Tinke, or whatever his name is, advisor to Leiasu Toku. Gawa turned Ido into a great Feng Shui, Feng Shui, Feng Shui city. It is said that he built a waterway and path to lead the Chi from Mount Fuji in Tokyo Bay to Ido Castle. Of particular note in this instance are Ken Eji's and Asakusa Shrine to the northeast and Jojo Ji and He Shrine to the southwest, all big religious institutions. In uh, Feng Shui, those directions are thought to draw negative energy their way. The shrines hold big festivals to purge and expel that energy. And if you look at the lines that connect Buddhist temples, I, I, I'm just going to give up trying to pronounce them, and Shinto shrines, Asakusa and He, you'll find they cross right inside Old Edo Castle, home to today's Tokyo Imperial Palace. It's really quite fascinating to see. Nowadays, the waterways have been swapped out for rail lines and radio towers dot the northeast and southwest. You could say we've finished what 10K started. Viewed from the eyes of current society, those rail lines and radio towers are artificial ley lines that supplement the old roads and waterways. Naturally, where you're standing underground constitutes, constitutes another ley line running through Tokyo, too. Not just any ley line, either. The one that's believed to emanate from Mount Fuji is supposed to run right through there. The man-made tunnel layered on top of it allows the digital waves to keep flowing in perpetu perpetuity. It's really a peculiar thing going on down there. That's what's producing this quasi-labyrinth you're seeing before you. Knowing that, those weird voices that people are supposedly hearing probably belong to Digimon that are appearing as a result. I could go on for a while yet about this subject, but you at least somewhat get what I'm saying, right? Aha, I'll take that to mean you understood it well enough, then. At this point, your work is essentially done, but we can't exactly just ignore this newfound discovery of yours, either. Why don't you go a little further in and check things out for me? Okay, so I'm gonna save. And I guess head in. Because this right here is a dead end, right? I think if I go right, it's a dead end, but there's also something to pick up there, so that's what I'm going to do. 
I guess it's another one of those good spots to find some wild Digimon too, if I remember right. Ah, I was wrong. There is nothing on this side. The box is there, but I have to go on the other side to reach it. Let's rip that. Look at my poop bonds rocking their eyeball sockets. tunnel just keeps on going you say if it stays on course like that you're going to end up in Raponge which would mean you know this reminds me of something else I've heard about before so I mentioned before Tokyo's ley line stem from Mount Fuji which is of course not all that a coincidence given that it's a sacred place and that energy takes old highways like the Koshu Kaido and the Taikai Tokaido to get to Tokyo from Mount Fuji that energy joins up with underground waterways going along the highways that carry Mount Fuji's snowmelt to Tokyo, flowing into the city together. One theory holds that the first place where that water appears above ground after reaching Tokyo happens to be where else but Nakano. Put simply, all the ley lines that flow throughout Tokyo could well be coming out of our own stomping grounds, believe it or not. Wouldn't that be amazing to think about it if, we, if it turned out to be true? I don't know. Stop right there, don't go any further. You're standing at the border of the municipality. Go any further and you'll be in central government territory. That's a hive, we've best not pope. Color me intrigued though, that's a hell of a thing to stumble into just walking around inside that tunnel. We aren't prepared just yet to pick that sort of fight. There's still too much we don't know. This little tangent of ours has gone on long enough, I think. Head back the way you came and regroup at the office. Please just take me straight back to the office. Thank you. Though it's not as strong as we're used to, that tunnel is causing a digital sift. We should probably keep it locked up like before, after all. I have no idea how I'm going to explain all of this to our client. No matter how you spin it, it'll probably all be a lot to take in. I wouldn't be surprised if we come away looking even sketchier than we already do. Yeah, let's just let Detective Matayoshi deal with it. Some jobs are just best left to others. Huh, you're curious about... You're curious what exactly was actually beyond where you stopped? It makes two of us. Believe me, actually, while you were on your way back, I decided to look into it a little bit. Uh, a little bit. Apparently, what you found was the Kamashiro Research Lab, of all things. Ooh. Oh, don't be dense. I told you, that area is under the jurisdiction of the central government. That's not the sort of place you wander into for fun. If nothing else, it indicates that Kamashiro and the government have a tighter relationship than what we previously suspected. Go figure. Going after Kamashiro could well mean that we'd also be ruffling the government's feathers. That's why we can't be hasty right now. We'll do what we can to prepare and cross that bridge when we come to it. This is just a guess on my end, but I imagine it was Kamashiro that changed the password on that door and rendered it impossible to get open. They probably weren't counting on us being able to actually break in and snoop around. Knowing that, it could well serve as our ace in the hole later when the time does come to confront them, hopefully unawares. But again, let's not worry about hashing out the details until we have to, and just be grateful we have that up our sleeve if need be. On that note, I realize this case is technically closed, but what do you say about heading over to Rapongi for me one more time? I don't mean on official business, rather I'm keep keen on doing a little independent intelligence gathering for our own internal use. Surely you're interested in knowing why Kamashiro has built a research lab underneath the metro Metropolitan Office too, right? So how about you just walk on through the front door there and see what you can find. Sound good? Oh, Gormon's at max level on the farm. Well, it's not done yet. Tokyo Metropolitan Office. All right, so here we go. Oh, are you here for a tour of the lobby? Please come in. Come on inside. Must be confused. Let me explain. Construction on this Metropolitan Office isn't entirely complete as of yet. 
Well, it was at one point, that is, until a major firm came in and it was decided the upper floors merited additional construction. As such, while that's going on, the lobby here remains free and open to the public to visit. Did you make it inside the Metropolitan Office? All right, I get you. So they're all right with you hanging around the lobby. Well, that makes our work a little easier than go on in. All you need at this point is a terminal somewhere so you can infiltrate their systems. Piece of cake at this stage, I'd say. So once you find a terminal, just slip on in and work your magic like always. Wish I was there to see it myself. Seems like quite the sight. It reminds me of the Tower of Babel in the away. Heh, guess I'm starting to ramble again, though. Don't worry about me. Feel free to get back to work now. She's a slave driver. Okay, so this is where we can also eventually use the elevators, I believe. That might be the next game. I can't remember now. Just a small digital shift happening here. Well, you know what I'm going to do now. Is something wrong out there? Oh, you found a terminal that's digital shifting a little. Huh, if this shift is weak while well, still prominent enough for you to notice it, it could be a sign this place will turn into a labyrinth later on. Well, for now, try connect jumping to it. Try to connect jumping into it. We have no idea what could be inside there, so stay on your feet, all right? What if I just want to stay on my toes and not my feet? Get all the boxes. All the boxes. Must have all the boxes. Ooh. It's Piyomon and Agumon. Doesn't matter which one I hit. Oh. Ah, oh, got rid of the Piyomon. level. Gonna have to digivolve him when I get back. That's gonna be my Gabumon. Bug recover. I was hoping for memory up. Okay, I get it. Koromon is max level on the farm. Sheesh, calm down, lady. Calm down, Mary. Oh, God. It's an eater. Yep, it's definitely an eater. This could either be good or bad. Anything else back here before I attack this thing? Patamon. Just realized it's the first time I've seen a Patamon, I think. Oh, it got stunned! 
Nice. Like, I need that, though. Alrighty. Time to go pick a fight. Ah. Okay, now maybe I'll pick a fight. on Black's the only one that's doing the most damage anyway, so... Hmm. The only bad thing about the Platinum Poop Mons, unless you take them to Vade Mons and then uh, bring them back to Platinum Numelons, then uh, they don't really learn a very good attack regime. I want that Darkness 3 on them, really. Because their special move is really not that great. Too hard for hard. Ah, even Ryudamon's max level now. Hmm, so you found an eater inside there after all. But you couldn't find any other evidence of note? You're not seeing the forest for the trees here, Chaos. The fact that there was an eater inside the terminal at all is big evidence in, in uh, and of itself. Regardless, let's call it a day here. Get on back to the office now. Yes, ma'am. That was probably a hard work going all over the place today, but thanks to you, I think I'm starting to piece it all together now. While you were out and about, I decided to measure the digital waves coming out of that building. And I found out that the Metropolitan Office itself is one big digital wave force field. Wow. When I could tell, energy is flowing straight into the Metropolitan office via the ley line inside Nakano underpass. So that underground lab Kamishiro has beneath the building is probably controlling the energy flow. Remember what I said about ley lines when you uh, were inside that tunnel, don't you? Oh yeah. There are two things at play here. The natural energy flow from the earth along the ley lines and digital waves emanating from a sea of electrons. If you can make a massive structure like the Tokyo Metropolitan Government Office a hub for those things, then you can manipulate their flow. Why do they need to do it that way? Well, for one, digital waves might be invisible to the naked eye, but they have mass and therefore require a vessel. And the bigger the vessel is that contains those waves, the more energy you can build up. It probably also explains the new construction going on as more space would mean that much more energy Kamashiro could stockpile. The extra energy would then go on to impact the office beyond the facility, hence the digital shift you ran into in the lobby. And with any good digital shift comes an eater, of course. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if that place goes labyrinth eventually. Labyrinthian. 
But we don't have to be concerned about that threat anymore now that you've cleaned the joint up. On the other hand, it's worrying in its own way that things resolve so cleanly this time. The fact that digital waves can be con concentrated in such small quantities as to attract individual eaters and produce a micro labyrinth is scary. If you hadn't been there, it might well not have been caught until much later. The whole thing doesn't sit well with me at all. This case has taught us that there's technology that can mostly suppress large amounts of digital waves as they're built up and placed wherever. The deliberate and calculated nature of it all indicates that somebody's got big plans in the works, suffice it to say. This, of course, calls for more investigating. We need to figure out how long this has all been going on and just what exactly it's for. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we move forward, Chaos. We're onto something here. I know it. Okay. Did you flunked your test so bad a kid, as a kid you had to clean your classroom? That's just a rumor. Who told you that story? <laughs> Some of these things are funny. Alright, well, so that's, that's it for that. Drive is really admirable. Keep it up. One way or another, we'll definitely deal with Kamishiro when the time is right. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Until the next episode, uh, I'll catch you uh, probably uh, working on towards Chapter 7. I'll probably just do some side quests, because I think i got, what, two side quests in here? I don't even think they have anything decent to actually go for. What do we got? Attack Restraint Chip C and a Defender Patch. And Agunimon Metal and Poison Berry. So yeah, really not much, but I mean, it's something that we can work on while I'm building up my team. Because I'm trying to really actually work on getting me a healer for my team. Because I really need one of those. I think that's important to have. Uh, anyway, till then, I'll catch you in the next episode. Peace out.